Welcome or welcome back to Watch Advisor on YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host, and the star of this video is the Omega Speedmaster Silver Snoopy Award. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get our latest notifications. If you do so, you have the chance to win the brand new iPhone 12 Pro. The happy winner will be announced in the community section tab January 2021. Good luck. This is the second episode of Alex Titbits. It's not a classical hands-on video. Why? Since we have been presenting uh, the Omega Speedmaster Silver Snoopy Award on the 9th of October already, it's a video that has meanwhile more than 71,000 views. Please watch on your screen. There is the link to the video. In the video, we have been presenting all details, technical details, etc., etc., etc. of the watch. It was not me. I was to COVID-19, not able to travel to Switzerland at that time. It was Gregory Kisley head of uh, product development of Omega who did that and he really explains all details. So in case you have not seen the video, please click the link and have a look. More than 71,000 have seen the video. And this is now, I would say, the fun side. I've been filming the watch under different light conditions. This is artificial light here in my studio. This afternoon I've been filming the watch in the sun, in the shadow, under different angles. So you will really see things probably you have not seen yet on the internet, you have not seen yet on any other channel. It's second episode, Alex Titbits. It's really fun. But to quickly start off, I want to give you a quick and brief information about the watch, just in case you have not seen our video. So this is the Omega Speedmaster Silver Snoopy Award, the third one Omega did for the 50th anniversary of uh, the Silver Snoopy Award that Omega got on the 5th of October in 1970. So it is a watch with a diameter of 42 millimeters, an Omega Speedmaster, the case goes back on the ST105012, the fourth generation of the Speedmaster, the generation that was worn on July 1969 on the moon. So this is the case, the base of the watch. The thickness of the watch is 14.47 millimeters, 14.47 millimeters, and the lock to lock distance is 47. 47 is the lug to lug distance of this speed master it is a chronograph yes of course the typical chronograph face but there is of course this wonderful back and uh, before doing this i will quickly run you through the front side and explain a little bit what you see there and you will quickly when you continue to watch this video discover that the watch definitely looks different depending on the light falling on it. This is caused by the silver dial. So we're having a silver dial. There is also a hallmark here. It says uh, AG Alpha Golf 925. And it is uh, when the minute hand, uh, the second hand is finally leaving the scene. Please, Mr. Move a little bit. Here it is. So here it is written AG925. So it's a silver dial, a fully silver dial. The watch has the running second, including uh, the silver Snoopy pin. You see Snoopy, you see the engraving 50th anniversary. Then you have a 12 hour counter for the chronograph and you have a 30 minute counter. The watch is powered by the latest generation of the Speedmaster Caliber that's called the Caliber 3861. 3861. The 3861 has now a power reserve of 50 hours. It is a 3 hertz, 21,600 semi oscillations. Um, so the second hand is moving in one sixth of a second over the dial or swiping over the dial in one sixth of a second. And the good thing is that the new generation, the 3861, 
is Master Chronometer certified. So the entire movement and the entire watch is certified as a Master Chronometer. Being able to withstand magnetic fields up to 15,000 Gauss and to withstand much more than this, there is an entire certification process. I will also um, link uh, in the description of the video, there will be a link where you can click on and then you can read through the entire testing procedure of Master Chronometer. Master Chronometer the certification is done by Swiss Institute of Metrology. It's an independent testing Omega is doing for you, probably um, doubting that it is a master Master Chronometer Certified Watch because it is not written as usual on the dial. It is written here. Coaxial Escapement, of course, and Master Chronometer. There it is. Master Chronometer. And uh, the entire collection of Omega, meanwhile, is Master Chronometer Certified, including the Moon Watch. And this also means that this watch now is equipped with the new generation of the movement. It's called 3861. Also, good to know that the newest generation of this movement now does not only have a power reserve of 50 hours and is also now accurate to zero plus five seconds, zero plus five seconds a day before it was minus one plus 11 seconds. So a bit of improvement, I would say, also in terms of accuracy. And all of you who have already seen the watch, either on one of the social media channels on the Omega website or where it might have been, of course, you know that there is that surprise on the other side and you will see Snoopy flying around in his capsule. And here he is flying over the earth in exactly 14 seconds. When he appears here, it is eight seconds after you start the chronograph and exactly 14 seconds later, Snoopy is overflying the earth. Why 14 seconds? This is a, a tribute or a link to what happened in Apollo 13 when uh, the astronauts used the Speedmaster chronograph to exactly time 14 seconds. That were those 40 seconds they needed to ignite their engines, to burn the engines, to get back in the direction of Earth. And this engine burn was 14 seconds exactly to time. They timed it with the Speedmaster and then they had to do it. They were on the backside of the moon and there was no radio contact to uh, Houston at the time because they were on the backside of the moon so there was no radio contact. There you see him again, Snoopy is coming and if I would have started the chrono 14 seconds afterwards he would show up exactly on the Earth. And this is also why Omega got the Silver Snoopy Award then from the astronauts as um, a thank you for being there when we needed you and they were acknowledged. Uh, the precision of the chronograph and the fact that Omega was really giving them a reliable instrument on board and this is what the Snoopy Award was um, supposed to do. So what happens here is that exactly there where the running second is and this is where you see Snoopy. This running second is connected with uh, the Earth disk and the Earth is not turning in 24 hours, of course, but in one minute. And uh, the hand uh, of the central second of the chronograph is also linked uh, with the dial behind. And uh, to be precise, uh, the hand is linked with Snoopy. So Snoopy in the moment is here. So he is, if you imagine the uh, central minute hand now, being here and you have Snoopy exactly down here. So always at the other end of the dial, you have to imagine that's where Snoopy is in the moment. So Omega is using the central second hand to let Snoopy fly in space, eyes on the stars. He's getting away. And where is the central second hand? Here somewhere. You see, it's here. You can clearly see. So it's 
Snoop is always on the other side of uh, the central second hand. Also good to know is that the perspective you see here is like if you would be here somewhere on the flying here somewhere above the moon. This is how you would see the moon and the earth. So Omega really tried to be as authentic as possible by doing all these little details. So I imagine where my, this is my, my plastic pointer here. And imagine we would be here somewhere flying and this is, would be the perspective. We would see the moon, the surface of the moon and the earth. So they have been really accurate doing all these things. And now you say, oh, Alexander is always privileged. He gets his uh, Speedmaster before all the others. Nope, that's not the case. If you look closely what's written here, not for sale. So this is a watch belonging to the Omega collection that is now being sent around the world to be presented to retailers and of course to the press. And I got hands on on the watch. So I said to myself, Let, let's make it a bit video. One of those I really like and uh, where I do show you the watches in a different angle with different angles, etc., etc. So once again, not for sale. This is not yet my watch. Yes, I've ordered the watch, but I have not got any confirmation from Omega when I will get mine. I hope before Christmas because I wanted to make this uh, silver Snoopy Speedmaster my Christmas gift. This is also something I wanted to show you. We do have the famous Nyad lock um, of Omega. This means that when you are closing the back, it will always exactly uh, align so there's no chance that it is misaligned it will always align correctly as it is positioned now and um, you can also see caliber calibre 3816 the indication of the new movement being used here in that speedmaster yes the crown now the Omega logo looks perfectly into the camera. We can see the boxed glass here. Very nice to see. You see here that there is a boxed glass. Yes. And once again, enjoy more pictures, please, uh, of this wonderful Speedmaster chronograph. Normally I do always make the watches a smile to you, so I set them to 10 past 10. Now um, it doesn't look as friendly, but the purpose of doing this is of course to get the hands away from the running seconds, then you can see the logo. And there's also another purpose I've been doing this. I um, wanted to show you that uh, the dial is beveled as well as the minute hand is, as you can now see as well as the second hand here. So this is uh, the dial I mentioned before, 925 silver dial, very nice. Now I want to talk about the central chronograph second hand and Snoopy. So I started the chrono, now you can see after eight seconds, Snoopy will appear here. There he is and 14 seconds later he will overfly the earth this we talked about but what do you think i will stop the chronograph before um at what position snoopy will when i reset the watch either disappear to the right or to the left side so what do you think is the appropriate answer i will explain you this from the front side of the watch so we do have the chronograph hand here that now is at 18 seconds approximately here and uh, depending on the position of the chronograph hand um, the chronograph hand will either reset 
in this direction, meaning back or he will reset forward. And this more or less happens at 30 seconds due to the fact that the chronograph hearts that do this in a chronograph are then either deciding to push the hand on this side or on this side. Of course, the same happens to Snoopy. So, um, as you already, um, who, uh, uh, yeah, you followed my, my um, explanations before, telling you where Snoopy is always positioned. He's always, uh, yes, uh, if you imagine, he's now here somewhere. Snoopy, of course, when he is here, then, depending on where I exactly stop, the chronograph will either go to the left or to the right. And I will show you this now with Snoopy. So, I start the chronograph already, gain some time, Snoopy will Come along after eight seconds. Here he is. Welcome Snoopy. He's flying over the earth after 14 seconds. And uh, if I do stop Snoopy in this area, he will disappear to the right side, meaning he will go back here and disappear under the moon. Once I stop it, Snoopy here somewhere, that's on the other side of the dial where the chronograph uh, central second hand is about positioned at uh, 30. He will then disappear to the left. Now, clearly visible, um, he will disappear to the right. Watch carefully, please. Watch carefully. One, two, three. You saw him. He is clearly disappearing to the right side. And now I will stop about here. Yes. And then if I will reset. Um, uh, if I will reset Snoopy or reset the chronograph, watch him disappear to the left side now. Yep, this is what I wanted to show you. The bracelet of the Speedmaster tells the story of Apollo 13. Um, this is the Earth. Uh, we clearly see the capsule. We see here, this is where the oxygen tanks exploded and caused the problems to Apollo 13. And then they continued around uh, the moon and it is here approximately on the back side of the moon. So there was no radio contact possible to Houston to Capcom. So it was here when they timed those 14 seconds to get out of the influence of the gravity of the moon and to fly back in the direction of the Earth and to safely land as we all know, of course. So you can see the lunar capsule, you can see the capsule, you see here the bang. This is where the oxygen tanks exploded. You see this approximately the position. And then you see the path they were flying back to get back safely on Earth. So Omega has been engraving this on the strap. It's a nylon strap with some white stitching. You can see this. We do have a Omega logo here. Here's written 20, so put it here in between the locks. 20 millimeters from the other side. Yes, we have been seeing this uh, during the day and all the pictures you have seen, you have been seeing this before. Yes, yes, yes. A classical pin buckle. Here it is with the Omega logo on it. And no, there is no second uh, alternative coming in the box. This you can also clearly see in the video we taped on the, uh, we put online the 9th of October and I was referring to in the beginning of this video more than 71,000 people have seen it already just in case you did not please go and watch it. So here you come there you can also see the box and you will also you can see the two Snoopy award watches that were launched be for now what comes next is the loom shot so this is the loom shot and you can clearly see that we do have a super luminova on the minute on the hour hand uh, we do have it on the indexes and on the central second hand but there is no loom for snoopy this time this was the case on snoopy 2 but this time there is no loom for snoopy let us start one more round of uh, pictures uh, filmed of the Speedmaster Silver Snoopy Award Watch 2020.
the one and only purpose this time to film the Omega Speedmaster Snoopy 3 50th anniversary celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Snoopy World is pure pleasure yeah, that's what I'm doing I'm showing you the watch on my wrist 17 centimeters as always silver dial reflecting the sun I'm moving it in different and in different angles so you can see this it's also the basal the ceramic basal appearing in different uh, colors depending on the light that comes on it that's that's how yeah that's how ceramic is reflecting the light this is the strap a dark blue one white stitching pin buckle with the Omega logo. There it is. Yes, of course. Readability is, uh, couldn't be better. A silver dial, um, blue hands on it, so the contrast couldn't be better. Perfect. But anyhow, the readability but never was a question on any Speedmaster. So they all, even this one with a silver dial, perfect readability. Yes, yes, yes. Look from this side. Pleasure, 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 nothing else this time. And of course, you all know what's on the back. Is ah, Snoopy's back. Look, there he comes again. Snoopy flying in this capsule over the earth. There he is. So sweet. So sweet. When you start it until Snoopy disappears, that's around 30 seconds you see him and there he is gone. That's for sure a dial that loves the sun. I'm standing by purpose in the shadow now. Um, clear skies above me, uh, so but I'm standing in the shadow and you can clearly see uh, compared to the other pictures and the other um, shots I took from the Snoopy. It is a dial that loves the sun. Yep, we have to say this. Um, the more light that comes on it, the more reflections, of course, you have, but the bigger is the effect you get. Uh, you see here, just uh, to compare you, that's the pin buckle once again, and it's filmed, as I just said, in the shadow. Very nice. Today's last shot I do dedicate to Snoopy and Snoopy as the Omega Speedmaster Silver Snoopy Award chronograph and the Snoopy I bought as a limited edition of only 250 pieces done by a German teddy bear manufacturer, Sammler Contour, who licensed Snoopy in his space gear with his helmet so cute and i had to buy one snoopy limited edition and here it is certified it is an original herman teddy so my snoopy is presenting you the new snoopy uh, speedmaster of omega it's the last picture for this video thank you very much for watching I hope you liked what we have been showing to you. I'm very keen, of course, to read your comments as always. I do, of course, also look forward to answer all your questions. As always, uh, stay tuned on Watch Advisor on YouTube. And I hope you liked my little tidbits. Um, yep, I like those. There will be more of these videos coming very soon. Bye-bye, everybody.